All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our trivia party. I'm Mackenzie, and this is our special guest today, Sandy, joining us from the Watch Mojo social media team. Uh, welcome to our friends and fans in the chat, everyone who's tuning in. It's delightful to have you. Uh, we are going to be playing today's daily trivia challenge over at watchmojo.com slash play. Theme of the day is Batman. So if you want to play with us and against us, please open another tab, go to watchmojo.com slash play, sign in, and you will be entered into the game. You can win a cash prize. Uh, we're all here for the friends. We're here for the laughs, but it's not too bad to have a little cash incentive at the end as well. So welcome to you all, and thank you for joining. Cindy, let's talk Batman. Let's do it. Oh, my God. I, there's nothing I like talking more. Yeah, confident, I trust. I was going to say, how are you feeling? Uh, maybe too confident. Maybe I should undersell it a bit. Uh, you know, like, oh, I guess I've watched a couple Batman shows, you know, all my Batman <laughs> DC action figures are just like random things I picked up. They're my friends, my friend left them here. Like, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. All the Batman comics around are just, just literature, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it's literature. Someone got my address mixed up. They keep coming in the mail. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, so we, we can't talk Batman um, without... A, acknowledging, uh, you know, both recent passings of uh, Kevin Conroy and Arlene Sorkin. Yes. Monsters in the world of Batman, behemoths, just like I grew up on both their voice acting as Batman and Harley Quinn, respectively. And just wanted to give a shout out to them because uh, they're just like really important figures in the world of Batman that have passed recently. And uh, we love and respect everything they gave to the Batman fandom. Absolutely. Rest in peace, icons and legends. So let's do this in their honor. Let's uh, kick some butt today. Um, I also learned recently that it's actually Batman Day on Saturday, September 16th. So uh, I was going to ask, Sandy, do you have any celebrations prepared? As we, this is becoming a very uh, charged game. There's a lot going on. There's a lot riding on this. Yeah, I mean, I might. There's a new Batman movie on digital I haven't seen yet. Uh, maybe I'm giving myself away as not a true Batman fan that I haven't seen the new one, but I uh, might be watching that. I I unfortunately wore my Batman socks today, so I won't be able to wear them on Saturday as well. But uh, I'll use any excuse to watch some Batman. I was going to say, I was just going to hang out in some caves and do some kung fu, but uh, it seems like you have a way better plan going here. <laughs> Yours might be more spiritually in tune with what Batman does. I'm, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I learned that the first uh, Batman Day actually took place on July 23rd, 2014, because that was the 75th anniversary of Batman's first appearance in Detective Comics. Uh, Luke is saying in the chats, I'm watching Batman all day this Saturday. Love it. Love the energy. Love to see it. Um, yeah, so I didn't know this was a recurring thing annually, but I love it. We love new um, holidays. Hopefully uh, one day it'll become like a federal, you know, we'll get the day off. <laughs> yeah. It's That'll a, be the hundredth anniversary. Holiday. Yeah. yeah, it's a set holiday. Take some time, visit a cave, spend some time with the family. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's a very Batman thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> spend some time with your yeah, adopted children. Not. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we're going to start playing the game in about 10 minutes. Uh, for anybody who is just joining us, um, please open another tab. Go to watchmojo.com slash play. Uh, sign in. You'll be entered to play our Batman Trivia Challenge and uh, be entered to win a cash prize. If you're joining us on mobile, hello. Thank you. We see you. Um, I recognize if you uh, exit your YouTube app, you're not going to be able to see us and play. So, um, open uh, your browser, go to watchmojo.com slash play if you want to play, if you want to be entered to win, if you want to keep hanging out with us. Delightful. Welcome. Love to see it. And sound off in the chat. Keep hanging out. Um, so I have a question for you, Sandy, and I also have a question for everyone in the chat, because I'm admittedly a pretty surface level Batman fan. You know, I've seen the big ones. I've seen the live action. Love it. But like, as a super fan, what would you recommend? What are some like deeper cuts that you really love? Um, so I'm, I grew up on Batman, the animated series, Right. nothing like it. Um, I, yeah, can't recommend that one enough. I think that's just like the heart and the core of Batman is there. Um, I also, I'm a huge fan of Robert Pattinson, Batman. I don't know if, if it's oh. time to get into my favorite live action, but also Talk about it. Good, like, <laughs> um, 
Well, I think it, it's what uh, the new movie has something in common with the animated show is that it really reflects Batman as someone who realizes he needs to help rather than yeah. just like uh, a, you know, pro bono cop. Like, don't get me wrong, love when he's doing his biff bam pop through the, the streets of Gotham, but I also love when Batman, you know, goes from realizing he needs to just be vengeance to realizing that maybe he needs to also embody hope and be a little more different from his villains and, and not just, uh, you know, a, a billionaire cosplaying as a correctional facility officer. So that's why sure. I like those versions for sure. Um, I, I mean, I can also, I could go on all day. How much time yeah. do you have? Eight minutes till we start? Like, Welcome to our TED talk. I love. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, we sent out a poll that was asking um, our friends in the chat who played the best Batman. We have Christian Bale at 43%, Michael Keaton at 38 Robert Pattinson at 10 Val Kilmer at 7 So I got to ask, uh, Batfleck was not included, but what do you think? Uh, where does he fall? I think he stacks up like he was a great Batman. I think it's kind of unfortunate that he never got his own standalone Batman movie. True. Closest thing he got was Batman versus Superman, which like, you know, sharing billing with Henry Cavill is a great thing to do. But like we never got to see, you know, Batfleck in his just own element with with no one else. And, and back in the day that Ben Affleck was going to like write and direct it too. that was like. I was so interested in that. Um, but I think with a lot of this like DC extended universe stuff, like it, it just got lost in so much corporate shuffle that, um, you know, a couple of these characters did not get the service they needed to. I mean, like shout out Cyborg too. Like he, he never got the movie that we were all hoping he would get. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, we went, uh, we had four options that all had their own movies and, um, Looks like the ones who stuck around for more than one movie got uh, a majority of the polling. It was close between Bale and Keaton, though, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm curious to get a poll to see um, Christian Bale versus Ben Affleck. You know, mm. does he does he fall? Is that yes or no? Like, let's uh, let's do a poll and see what uh, what our friends think. OK, Terry says instantly Christian Bale. OK, cool. I think there is a bit of like Batfleck continued the Bale legacy, because there was kind of this, you know, if we're going through Man of Steel, um, Christopher Nolan was kind of involved in that one too, which handed the reins kind of off to Zack Snyder, who started doing the DCEU. So like, spiritually, those two for sure are connected in like, their tone and grittiness. Um, so yeah, would love to see, you know, we, we don't have to pit our kings against each other, but also like, what what else do we do with Batman Let's except do make it. them fight people? <laughs> yeah, we're already here. <laughs> So while we're waiting for those results, let's see what the people think. I, I'll just give a general reminder to anyone who maybe is just tuning in. Uh, we're playing today's Daily Trivia Challenge over at watchmojo.com slash play. So if you want to play with us and against us, if you want to be eligible to win a cash prize, um, open another tab, watchmojo.com slash play, sign in and join the game. We're starting in about five minutes. Uh, David Wiggin, Wiggins says bail all day. Love to see it. Um, if you're joining us on mobile, then uh, please, if you want to hang, keep hanging out with us in the stream, stay with us. Let us know your thoughts in the chat as we go through the game. Um, or if you want to win the prize, you know, open your browser, watchmojo.com slash play. The process is the same. Uh, sign in and you can compete with us. Now, did you say something? I, I just said amazing. I'm, I'm like ready for your next, like, do I get to say my obscure Batman picks? Are we going to do some Joker games? Like, let's, let's go for it. I have a bit of a game. So, okay, Let's it's go. very simple. The game is called, Who Said That? And I'm gonna read a quote and you have to guess if this quote was said by the Joker or if it was said by Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, beautiful. I thought you were gonna say Jared Leto for a second. I'm like, I could not tell. The line is so thin. <laughs> Uh, so please let us know in the chat what you think your guess is or what your guess is, and uh, we'll see. Ready? Yeah, let's hear them. I have my little notes here. Um, okay, quote, my theory is 90, I'm going to try really hard to not deliver these quotes in either the Joker or Jerry Seinfeld's voice, which I practiced earlier because I found it really hard. <laughs> so, What's the deal? With what is the deal? <laughs> 
that's all right, all right. Called. I forgot I was in front of people. Okay, let's go. It was in the spirit. Of the, it was in the spirit. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> My theory is 98% of human endeavor is killing time. Joker or Jerry? Uh, I'm going to go Jerry on that one. That is Jerry. Correct. Okay, off to a strong start. Uh, I'm not good at future planning. I do not plan at all. Don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Do not have a day planner and don't have a diary. I live completely in the now, not in the past and not in the future. Joker or Jerry? Oh, uh, that one's tough because it totally could be Jerry Seinfeld or like it, but it's giving Joker. So I'm going to say Joker on this one. That is Joker from the movie Joker. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. cool. You're too okay, I'm too. good. Yeah, you're killing it. All right. We aren't contractually tied down to rationality. There is no sanity clause. Okay, Joker that's Joker. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, Joker. Nice. <laughs> some classic ledger there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. To a guy like me, a laugh is full of information. Oh, a, a short and sweet one. Um, I'll go Seinfeld on this one. You're, yeah, that's Seinfeld. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> now I need to see Jerry Seinfeld as the Joker. Yeah, that's the crossover everyone and no one needed. <laughs> million percent. I, we got our results of the pullback. Who was a better Batman, Christian Bale or Ben Affleck? 67% said Christian Bale, which is lower than I was expecting. It leaves 32% for uh, Batfleck. Interesting results here. Ben Affleck was also a great Bruce Wayne. I also want to shout out. True. Like there, there's difference in portraying both of those and, and Ben Affleck had the Bruce Wayne part down. So then I have to ask, we have about uh, two minutes left. Sandy, do you have a favorite iteration of the character above all else? Live action, um, animated? I have to shout out Lego Batman here. Like a million percent, it's what I thought like Into the Spider-Verse was for Spider-Man. It was this amazing like meta take that, um, you know, got in so many years of what and who Batman was. Um, so sad that they never got to do a second uh, Lego Batman movie, but um, if there's one version you watch, make it that one. Okay. Love to see it. Now, because when we did, um, the, when we did our episode of Fan Rank, we were ranking Christopher Nolan movies. Um, the fans chose The Dark Knight as the number one Christopher Nolan movie at that time. Um, do you think that that is the best Batman movie besides Lego movie? I mean, it's different parameters. One is Nolan, one is broadly speaking, but what, do you agree or disagree? Uh, <laughs> I, hmm, the best, I don't know. My favorite, probably not. I was a big okay. fan of the new, the Batman, Matt Reeves, just like vibey Gotham. But I mean, Dark Knight was so iconic and changed superhero cinema in general that like you got to give it up as like the iconic modern gritty take yeah all right we got 10 seconds left everybody uh if you haven't already quickly go to watchmojo.com slash play sign in the game is about to start the theme is batman as you may have guessed um two one let's go kristen stewart won which of the following awards for her work on Okay, Floods. so this is going to say tangentially related to the Pattinson connection, I'm guessing. Some of these questions will sometimes not be directly Batman related, I guess. Yeah, that's the fun of trivia is that anything can happen. <laughs> Anyone can wear the mask. <laughs> Anyone. Um, ooh, ventriloquist. Made Golden his first age. appearance, yeah. I'm going to say true on this one. I. Okay. Don't, I'm not a huge comic buff. I've seen like the main ones. Mm -hmm. um, false. I got it wrong. You led me astray. <laughs> I'm following yeah, your lead not... 100%. I don't know anything. <laughs> okay. 1960s Batman TV series. Which villain appeared? Mm -hmm. Clock. That one had some crazy villains. Like just like all the, the campiest. I got mm. Clock King. Did you, yeah, you did Clock King too? I did not do Clock King. Oh. But uh, um, it's all right. I'm seeing Oof in an early lead here at 72 points and a little crown. 
Fly Eagles Fly, Peter, Devin Giles, who I believe is a repeat player. So welcome back. Dav31 is doing really well. And so is You Ugly. Rude, but I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I'm, I'm like too... To to... Go ahead. I, I'm too fixed into the questions to like, be, I'm, I want to be part of the discussion, but I'm no. like... <laughs> yeah, no. You play the game and I'll talk about the game. <laughs> okay. I want to see joke. Sandy take home a prize today. <laughs> yeah, I'm already behind. I'm like, I'm I'm not focused enough. Wait, oh, oh, season one finale. Oh, okay. In the dark night, it's Batman's quick thinking that dispatches the helicopter. I'm going to put true. I haven't seen that movie in a minute. I watched it pretty recently for fan rank. Um, and that's there, awesome. I don't think there is a helicopter in Dark Knight. It's Rises, I think, the helicopter. Ooh. Who voices Batman in Batman The Dark Knight Returns? Uh, I'm going to guess Kevin Conroy. Am I wrong here? May he rest in peace. Yeah. Shout out to my guy, Peter Weller. Ooh. We like Peter Weller also. Yeah. I mean, there's <laughs> on the Batman actors. Jensen Ackles, great one too. Okay. Castle of Solitude. I'm going to go false. That the Castle of Solitude is what I refer to my apartment as. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it is a fortress. Yeah, it is a fortress. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Richard Armitage, mm. recently. I'm going to, I'm just going to guess true. I'm not a, I stopped on season one of Castlevania. Follow your heart. And... Yeah, we got Oof still in the lead here. You Ugly creeping up behind. Lucas, Peter, Fly Eagles Fly, and Pollo de Loco um, also doing pretty well. Catwoman saves Batman with... I put a gun. Just instinctually, the one weapon Batman won't use. Right. No. no. <laughs> I love this Avatar thumbnail, too. It's like, was there a bad yeah. pod in that movie? I must have slept through that. <laughs> <laughs> Crossover alert. <laughs> oh, I know this one. Joker's name before uh, Batman, before Ooh. Joker, bef bef before he got Jokerified. Jack Sparrow, right? Oh, no, I'm That's just kidding. <laughs> There's a crossover. Captain Jack Sparrow. That, Captain, uh, yeah. Lego Batman 2 was the first Lego TT game to feature voice acting. Uh, not a gamer over here, so I'm just going to go true. Yeah, do we have gamers in the chat? To let us know what you think about that. What's the ba best Batman video game? Let us know what you think. I'm curious. I know people love the Arkham games. Yeah. Um, attempt to go to a Halloween dance in a Batman costume. Why not? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a classic choice. Are you going to dress? What do you know what you're doing for Halloween yet? Do you have a costume? Um, up? Yeah, I think there's like some adventure time ones. What about you? I don't know yet. I tend to always dress up as Gomez or Wednesday Adams, um, but I might like mix it up. Yeah. <laughs> but I also, Gomez ones I, are classic. it feels like a wasted opportunity to not dress up like and act like Gomez Adams. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I got the, the Arkham one wrong. I got it right, but as a oh. fluke. Yeah, I got it wrong as probably the rule for my video <laughs> knowledge. Um, meet Natalia after pursuing whom? Oh, this one. Anyone who knows their Ooh. Batman lore knows oh, that I got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Rachel, cool. <laughs> All um, right, guys, we got 10 questions left. In the man from Uncle Army Hammer portrayed an American agent named Napoleon Solo. I'm going to say the connection here is the Henry Cavill BVS mm -hmm. line. Sometimes yeah. the, oh, got it, got it right. That nice. It was like to point out that Oof has now been overtaken by Fly Eagles Fly in the lead with 315 points. Although Oof is still in the game, Lucas is still in the game, You Ugly is still in the game, I'm as is Peter and Pollo de Loco. I am like not even <laughs> close to anything. <laughs> I'm here for the friends. <laughs> yeah. 
maybe the real Batman was the family we made along the way. <laughs> mm, who did wipe Batman's memory according to the events of Final Crisis? Do you know this? I'm going to go Zatanna. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I'd love to see her in live action, too. Just like Ooh. magical, magical lady. Why does Moon Knight wear a white costume? They were out of black at the fabric store, probably. <laughs> That's funny. In honor of the moon, wishes to be seen. Ooh. Mm. A bold new direction for superheroes. <laughs> okay, any, come on. Catwoman. I think she's is... pretty subtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her, she's, she's got a very chemistry-free vibe going on. Yeah, very neutral, very relaxed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, we got five questions left. EA published a Batman Begins tie-in game. Feels Let's like see they were if... leaving money on the table if they didn't. Yeah, <laughs> it was right there. Fly Eagles Fly is still in the lead. Lucas right behind. Oof. You ugly Peter Adam Johnston, also kind of creeping in there. There's still time. It's anybody's game. Who played the Joker in The Batman? This one I know. This is a, a Marvel actor, too. Believe it or not, he was one of the crowd in Eternals. Oh. And also, yes. I was just watching uh, Banshees of Inishira and just being like, that person was in The Batman, too. <laughs> that That's the penguin. The yeah. <laughs> Batman, Robin. Mm. Riddler and Two Face. Okay, two left, two left. Oof oh, is back in the lead. Oof. Let's see if they can hold on to that lead. They've been doing really, really well. And this one we were talking about before the stream started. Mm -hmm. It pays to uh, come early. There's often spoilers in the pre-show. <laughs> yeah, a different timeline. We could have got that Batfleck movie. All right, last question, everybody. Which actor was the first to play Batman on film? Ooh, I don't know if this Lewis Wilson character was doing the serials in the 50s or the 40s. Lewis, Lewis Wilson. Wilson. Aha. All right, that's game, everybody. Congratulations to Oof, who will be taking home a cash prize today. Uh, second place goes to Fly Eagles Fly. Lucas, you ugly. Adam Johnson, Peter, uh, Mary. Don't say that to Lucas. Tim, <laughs> yeah. sorry, Lucas. <laughs> uh, Tim McCausland, our colleague and friend, Jesse and Johnny Garfield for finishing in the top 10. Congratulations to you guys. And thank you to everyone for joining. Thank you, Sandy. This was such a blast. Oh my God, thank you for having me on. This has been amazing. A total delight. And uh, just a reminder to everybody, trivia challenges happen every single day at 3 and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there is always prizes to win. And uh, we do these streams live every two weeks on Thursday around 2.45. So keep an eye on our social media to find out more about categories and scheduling. But um, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks, everyone. Bye.